Miller tonight. Some Colorado doctors telling people with flu symptoms to stay away, and they're using telemedicine to diagnose from afar. 7 News reporter Jack Allen is live at CU Hospital in Aurora, where Jacqueline, they've seen a dramatic spike in flu hospitalizations there. That's right, they're telling anyone who comes in here with flu-like symptoms to wear a mask like this one here whenever they come into the hospital, basically because they've had as many hospitalizations for flu so far just in the last month as they did in the entire flu season last year. And some doctors across the state are being even more cautious. At every entrance in University Hospital, signs warn flu. The key a lot of infectious diseases is to keep it contained. CU infectious disease Dr. Michelle Barron says it's not new for doctors to tell patients who might be infectious to stay home and just call. The danger of having somebody that's infectious sitting in a waiting room is that other people that are around them then can get sick and then they continue to spread the flu. But beyond just calling your doctor, there's a growing trend of telemedicine. You can get on your computer, log into a virtual waiting room, and connect with the doctor. Jennifer McClendon is a physician's assistant in Arizona who also treats patients from Colorado online. I can tell that they're not in any acute distress over the webcam. I can tell that they're breathing well. Basically, treat them based on what they tell us, which is very similar to what I do in practice. Doctors tell us high risk patients or more serious cases would still need to see a doctor in person. The key is being able to give a good history, your symptoms and risk factors. And if prescribed antiviral medication on the phone or online, have someone else pick it up for you. It's actually a really good concept of just kind of semi quarantining the person. And if you can facilitate that through telemedicine, it's actually would be a really nice thing. And two Colorado children have already died this season from the flu. Even though the flu shot this year is not a perfect match, doctors say it can still lessen the severity of the flu. And they say it is still not too late to get it and it would be effective. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. A Grand Junction Hospital.